Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question from Roberto Magana Jr. who wants to know how to spawn in reinforcements that can then join your squad. Um, and I will show you how to do that now. So firstly we need a playable unit and then we need a, a couple of things called game logics. So we're going to go up to systems or press F5 on your keyboard and normally this will open all these modules here on the right hand side. Where we need to go is to the little flag icon which is logic entities. So we're going to grab a game logic and place it down. You may have two depending on whether you're running community based add-ons or not and you probably should be. Um, so I'm just going to use the first one and then I'm going to grab a second one. So two game logics. The first one here I'm going to use as a spawn point for my AI reinforcements. So I'm going to double left click and rename or name that spawn1. Now I'm going to uh, double left click the next game logic and I'm going to call that TWP1 which team waypoint1. Okay, next thing we need is a trigger. So we press F3 on the keyboard or go up to the flag icon. We're going to grab a trigger. Uh, you can grab the first one there, it doesn't need to be a trigger of any particular size. We're going to open up the trigger by double left clicking and we're going to set the activation as radio alpha because we want to be able to use this uh, trigger on a radio activation uh, so we can repeatedly use this trigger wherever we are whenever we need to. We're going to set this uh, trigger also to repeatable so we can use it as many times as we need to. In the on activation section I'm going to paste some code and I'll explain what the code is shortly and we'll have a bit of a look at it but essentially what this code does is it will spawn a group uh, that will then after spawning in, move to our waypoint, which is pretty handy if you want to spawn in units and you want to actually give them somewhere to go. So that's all we need for this to work, um, but there's a couple of other little things that um, I'm going to show you how to do. Um, what we need to do before we proceed any further is you need to save your mission and you do that by going up to scenario save as and you can save it wherever you need to either in missions MP missions whatever so I've saved it into MP missions and given it a file name which you do by typing it in here okay once that file name is in there you then hit save and it will save the mission and create a folder for you so let's quickly go to the folder now and have a little bit of a look at the uh, a file that we need for recruiting the AI into our squad. So we're in our mission folder which you can find in this PC, documents, armor 3, other profiles, your playing name, MP missions or missions and then you'll see the name that you saved your mission under as a folder. Um, open up that folder and we have the mission SQM file which you don't need to play with at all and I've created another file in here and I've called it initplayerlocal.sqf to create an SQF file if you are unfamiliar with that or haven't seen me do this in other tutorials if you're using Windows 10 which I assume that many of you would be we need to go to view and ensure that file name extensions is checked so we can actually see the file extension names on files right click go to new text document and I'll just call this one test and take out the txt and change that to sqf you'll get an error just say yes and then we've created an sqf file which armor 3 will read now I don't need that one so I'm going to take it out so we now init player local which is what you need to name this file We've got some code in there. 
Now what this code will enable us to do is to recruit players, uh, correction, recruit AI once they have been spawned in using our um, spawn trigger. Uh, I'm not going to go into all the code, um, but I will post this into a paste bin uh, page where you can copy and paste this code into your init player local.sqf file and it will work provided it is in your mission folder. It must be in the same folder um, as your mission SQM for the mission you are working on for this to work. Next thing we're having a look at is the code that we are placing into the trigger. Um, the things to note here are spawn one in this line where it has it's a call uh, command to get pause for spawn one. Um, the unit side will be west, and then we have a config uh, line from the editor, which gives us the composition or configuration for the group of troops that we want to spawn in. And I'll show you how to get that if you're not familiar with it. So we go to Tools, down to Config Viewer, and you're looking in this list for CFG Groups, which I have here. Um, and then we've I've gone down to West, and down to the faction or the units that I'm using, and then to Spec Ops, which is the uh, subunit and then the next one and clicking on each of these you'll see that the section up here at the top changes and it will tell you um, what type of team it is so this one is an assault team the next one's a cover team next one's a mortar team so if you're not sure what these actually are here just have a look at the top there and it will tell you what sort of team it is so I'm just going to select the first one and in the path down here, we're going to select or we're going to highlight all of that and press Control C on our keyboard to copy it. Then we close this. And in the code that we're going to place into the trigger, you'll see that the word config file. So to paste this, you need to go from the first C in that word config file highlight all the way to the last inverted comma before the end brackets just here okay before these end brackets so from the C of the config file all the way across to the last inverted comma and press control V and that will place the group that you want into the code so We've also got in the code um, delete group when empty, so when they're all destroyed, they'll be deleted by the game. And we have WP1, which will be waypoint one. Um, and the important thing for us to note here is TWP1, which is the name of the game logic or the variable name of the game logic I placed as the waypoint for the group when they spawn. So provided in this script or this code your spawn logic variable name which I've used spawn one and your waypoint are the same in this code uh, it should work with no problems so I'm going to highlight all of this and I'm going to copy it then I'm going to open up the trigger and I'm going to paste all that in there and click OK so what should happen now is uh, the AI will spawn at the spawn logic they will then move to the waypoint and because we have a code in the init player local sqf that enables us to recruit troops um, they will be recruited I'll just remove these guys for now I'm not using them at the moment so let's test that and see how it works so here we are, we're going to activate the radio trigger by pressing 0, 0 on the keyboard and then 1 because it's radio trigger alpha. And there's my AI group that have spawned in. 
and they will move to the waypoint which if you remember I placed it just here. Now they're not part of my group at the moment but using the init player local.sqf and the code in there I'm able to go up to these guys and have a scroll wheel option to two join group recruit Ready. them and unfortunately you need to do this one unit at a time three join group Ready. and if you're doing this in a base Four. area join group Ready. Uh, it's not too bad five Join group. So all these guys have now joined my group and I can give them commands to move right. Do things. Okay, off they go. I've told them to move over there. Or I can tell them to Waiting. return to formation. Regroup. We'll go. Come back here. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, if you wish to add additional waypoints. Uh, you can do that. So if you're using just one waypoint, so if you've got a scenario where at this location you're in a firefight and you need additional resources, you can simply place that one waypoint where your defended position is and they will come to that waypoint. You can add additional waypoints if you wish and I'll quickly show you how to do that now. So if you want to add another waypoint, you just need to amend the code here. The easiest way to do this is to simply highlight that line of code that relates to the add waypoint and position TWP1. Control C to copy it, go to the end of the line, enter, Control V, and we need to change the waypoint name or the number here from waypoint 1 to waypoint 2, and we need to change the variable name of the next game logic waypoint we are going to place and when you copy and paste an object with a variable name in armor 3 it will append that with an underscore and then the next number so if I copy and paste TWP1 it will become an object with a variable name of TWP1 underscore 1 Okay. Now on the next line here, because we've added an additional waypoint, we're going to change this also from WP1, which is waypoint 1, to waypoint 2, because that's where the guys are now going to move to. And we can save that. We can then highlight, Control c to copy it, go to our trigger, um, take out what's already there because that's now been superseded by new code. Control V to paste the new code. Click OK. And remember, we've added another waypoint. So I'm just going to Control C to copy this game logic waypoint and Control V to paste it. And it has given it the variable name of TWP1 underscore 1. And I'm going to show you that it doesn't matter where you put the spawn, they will come to these waypoints. So I'm going to place the spawn over here. I'm going to place the first waypoint over here and leave the final waypoint here. And let's now see what they do. So we'll activate our trigger. And you can see that the guys have spawned over there they're now running to the first waypoint which is over there somewhere let's hurry them up a little and now they've come to their final waypoint which is where I've asked them to be now their combat behavior at the moment is aware or safe sorry so they will sort of hang out here and if they do see any enemy threats they will begin to engage those enemy threats so if you're getting reinforcements to come into an area that's actively being uh, attacked they will fight um, remember if you want to order them around and get them to do things you will need to recruit them to join group ready and that's Three, pretty much how you do group. it 
so uh, thank you so much Roberto for the question um, if anyone isn't sure about what we've done or they're a bit confused uh, please let me know in the comments below and I'll give you a hand you can also visit our discord server the description is also in the uh, the link is in the description sorry and um, as always really appreciate the support thank you so much for watching give us a thumbs up and a sub if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video